Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flower the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? <laughs> Why love, of course. You want some love, don't ya? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. <laughs> Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around! Get as many as you can! Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try that again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Uh, friendliness pellets! You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. <laughs> huh? What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toya, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Humans like you. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. <laughs> you know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't... Recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. And I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Sans, you are not helping. You lazy bones, all you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Sans, I am and I hate it. <sighs> 
Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah! Heh. <laughs> Sup, bro? Staring at the slip. It's really cool. You want to look? Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work today. A skeleton? Hey! Come on, you're smiling. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Hey! hey. It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you? You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So long as you hold on, so long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven souls, we can take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? No! You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool with their giant robots and flowery swords, women! But you? You're just a coward! Oh my god! She was just kidding, right? 
Those cartoons, those comics, those are all still real, right? Anime is real, right? Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Oh, oh, I know this one! It's snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach, and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor, she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game, because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship, and... Uh... Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just push it back out? Listen, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Let's do it! Yeah, let's... Let's go on a date. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties, to today's quiz show. Oh, boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. <laughs> Never played before, gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly, or you die. See, Alphys? I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush? 101%. Margin of error? 1%. Oh? A mirror? Right. I have to look good for our grand finale. Hmm? I don't see it. Where is it? Did you... just flip... my switch? Oh, yes. Oh, my. If you flipped my switch... That can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I'm almost done watering these flowers. There we are. Howdy. Oh. I so badly want to say... Would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. If you have any unfinished business, please do it now. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. You cannot give up just yet. Kara, stay determined. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Kara, are you there? It's me, your best friend. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. After I defeat you and take control of the timeline, I just want to reset everything. All your progress, everyone's memories, 
I'll bring them all back to zero. Then we can do everything all over again. And you know what the best part is? You'll do it. And then you'll lose to me again. And again. And again. Because you want a happy ending. Because you love your friends. Because you never give up. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that lets you get this far. It's going to be your downfall. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Huh. Even after that attack, you're still in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. <laughs>